Israel's new finance minister, Bessalel Smoltich's first official decision in office is to cancel the tax on single-use plasticware and on soft drinks. The two measures were implemented by the previous government in an attempt to reduce environmental pollution by curtailing the use of single-use plastic and reducing Israelis' consumption of artificially sweetened beverages. The taxes were met with great opposition from ultra-Orthodox politicians who accused previous finance minister Avigdor Lieberman of intentionally targeting ultra-Orthodox society, as they are major consumers of both single-use plasticware and of soft drinks. As such, the cancellation of the tax was hailed by the ultra-Orthodox politicians. However, others were quick to oppose the cancellation. The Association of Public Health Physicians releasing a statement saying the move is a regrettable and blind decision made without consulting health experts. The organization said that the tax had a positive health influence by reducing consumption of sugary beverages, which contribute to diabetes and other diseases. It is estimated that the removal of these taxes will cause an annual loss of around $340 million in earnings for the Treasury. Meanwhile, Smoltrich on Sunday also pledged to tackle the high cost of living, boost competitiveness, and practice fiscal responsibility as he officially took over his post at a ceremony in Jerusalem. <laughs> Smoltich acknowledged, however, that Israel was entering a challenging period, and though he did not outline his fiscal plans, he did attempt to allay public fears. <laughs>